Is nanomaterial really important for our future society? So Richard Feynman, the famous Nobel physicist at 1965, said that there are plenty of room at the bottoms, emphasizing the significance of nanomaterial. Many nanomaterials have been discovered, including carbon nanotube, fluorine nanoparticle, nanowires, and the demand of nanomaterial has been increased and will pass other material in the future because of their unique property. In practice, however, aggregation of the, the individual nanomaterial by secondary molecular interactions, so-called self-assembly, is much more useful than individual nanomaterials because a future device needed yield high resolution of self-assembly nanomaterials. So current technologies fully rely on photolithography based on top-down approach. And the resolution limitation of the uh, current technology is about 30 nanometers. And the smaller than 10 nanometer scale is really, really difficult to realize. What about the semiconductor industry currently? So current semiconductor is produced by photolithography. And the many reports predict that self-assembly technique will be used in the future to accomplish smaller than 10 nanometer scales. Actually, there are two types of self-assembly self materials. One is colloidal self-assembly, which is really easy to handle. However, it is critically limited to feature size, which is 50 nanometer scales. And the other is block of polymers, which is uh, aggregated by their uh, microphage separation of the dissimilar polymers. Uh, this is really good, and the various structure can be fabricated in block of polymers, and the feature size can be reduced to 10 nanometer scales. In reality, in the industrial point of view, however, uh, smaller than 10 nanometer scale is really, really extremely difficult to fabricate it using existing self assembling technique. Therefore, new technology is strongly needed to achieve less than 10 nanometer scales. I believe that liquid crystal material, small liquid crystal material can do that. Actually, liquid crystal material is well known for LCD display, but this is not limited to LCD materials. There are a huge amount of the chemistry, various structure and the various functions. Using slightly change of different chemistry can fabricate less than five nanometer scale feature size over large areas. This is a 35 teradot per inch scale, which is new world champion of the as far as the density is concerned. This is very good for the memory device. Also, various nanostructures can be fabricated if we turn it, tune a little different of the chemistry functions and the structures. And more importantly, less than one nanometer scale can be fabricated when you use small liquid crystal materials. The other cool point is the low fabrication cost. And this is really, really fast. It takes just a few minutes to fabricate one nanometer scale of the structures using this self-assembly technique which is huge beneficial for low cost manufacturing. And also this is quite important for the future membrane for water desalinations. This is because many ion in the salt water needed around one nanometer scale. So that's why this is very important for membrane research in the future. Also a combination of the, this self-assembly technique and the uh, top-down lithography can produce large scale, which is wave scale of a nanostructure, which is very important in enhancing the uh, capability of the future device. I believe that this self-assembly technique can create Angstrom technology, which is beyond nanotechnology. And uh, this is really good for the future society not only increasing their huge information, but also facing many problems of our futures, like climate change 
and invite the problem. Thank you very much for, for your attention.